Hello, Xavier here. Welcome back to another episode of Terraria. And today is going to be another short episode, but today I have something nice planned. It's all about fishing and crates, so... Fishing is something I've been doing for quite a while, and then the crates is something I've been collecting for quite a while. So my goal today is to actually see if I can get some biome-specific crates. Uh, those are very rare, and that's why I'm going to be doing crate potions today. Alright, so some of the things I'm going to be needing are deathweed, moonglow, and water, uh, bottled waters. But I also need amber, so that's why I'm here in this machine now. I'm going to put the slope right here. Gonna go and then we're gonna do the same thing with still let's see what we get so it looks like unfortunately I didn't get any amber using that so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna go to the desert and go find some fossils and I can do the same thing with those and get some really good results so I'll be back okay so I got a 268 desert fossils this actually has a higher chance of getting amber so hopefully we can get some in this okay so we actually did get amber as you can see it's right there on the floor we have seven of them i'm gonna go back and uh actually get some room into my inventory okay so now that we have the required items all we have to do is find an an, an alchemy table and uh make it so here we go the crate potion. Uh, there's also a magic power potion, but we're going to be making crate potions. We can make a total of four of them, which is really cool. Okay, since this was a fishing episode, I only thought it would be natural to uh, do some uh, actual quests. So I got the goldfish trophy, which is really cool. I'm going to put that up. Actually, I'm going to put him over here, right by where he is. So let me take these down. Put this up here. There you go. Do you have another quest for me? No. Okay, so. Let's go. Okay, so here we are back here in the crimson biome where I made the fishing pool last episode. This is where we're going to get crates. And I'm hoping to get a few crimson uh, crates today. Uh, they're very rare. So that's why I made the crate potions and I also have the fishing potions that way I can just basically just fish for a long time. So let's let's see how this goes for us. Let's zoom in and let's start. Alright, there we go. We finally got one Crimson Crate after like, I'd say, a good, <laughs> uh, let's see, four minutes. Uh, I got this uh, Frog Leg. Increases jump speed and allows auto jump. Increased fall resistance, which is really cool. There's a Blood Moon appearing, which is interesting. Uh, but I finally got a Crimson Crate out of 12 winning crates that I got. And uh, I'm going to use this up. So I have a total of 27 Crimson Tigerfish, 13 Hemo Piranhas, and I got one Zephyrfish, which summons a Zephyrfish. Huh, cool, so if I do that... Oh wait, so it's like a pet. It is, look at that. Cool. So uh, I'll use that, because I like my fish. 
I like my fishing, so. <laughs> um, what, what do I have here equipped? Uh, Pussy for some of the a bunny mount. When did I get this? So, of course, I'm going to keep on fishing because I found some pretty interesting stuff. And I'm liking how this, where this is going so far. I'm going to use this princess bait. Hopefully it uses my stuff. And I need to hurry because I don't want to waste my potion time. So, let's go. Whoa, this is the first time I've ever gotten a golden crate. Wow, that is awesome. Oh, by the way, I have a, I got another frog leg, but it's down there, unfortunately. Uh, I can throw this away. There you go. It's pretty cool. I got another frog leg. And uh, yeah, let's just continue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I just get? What is that? A balloon puffer fish. That is actually pretty new to me. Um, what do I get rid of? I mean, I guess I'll get rid of this potion. Why not? Uh, increases jump height. Huh, it's a material also. Balloon puffer fish. Okay, I'm finding a bunch of stuff that I never knew about. Now, all my crate potions are gone. But I'm going to continue fishing until the blood moon is gone. Okay, so it looks like the blood moon is now over. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head back and see if we can do some fishing quests. First, let's find out what these items can make. So, the balloon puffer fish. Let's see what I can make. A Skygar, Skark, Ron, Balloon. Okay, so, Tsunami and Bottle. I do have one of those. And what else can the frog leg do? It's, oh no, it's not. It's increased fall resistance. Huh. That's good. So, this is basically like a balloon. Pretty much. But that's pretty cool. A balloon puffer fish. Huh. This is height. Um, and with a fishing tsunami. And this is also a material. So I guess, I guess we could make that. But first let's see what kind of quest we'll be doing today. Oh. Ha. Uh, I have this already. I actually saved a bunch of the zombie fish for my first quest. Uh, so I got some more. Oh, I got some more crit potions. Awesome, that means we can do some more stuff. And I got some journeyman bait, but I need to clear some room out. Okay, so we made the shark round balloon. Now let's see what this can make. Okay, so it looks like with this I can make the pink horseshoe balloon, but I need a horseshoe for that. I believe you can find those in the sky islands, but I've only found one and I haven't found any of these items. Uh, maybe we'll do that in a separate video. But let's, uh, let's go fishing some more for some more of these uh, crimson crates and see if we can get some more items. Okay, so the final quest before I end the episode, I'm going to be doing this, which is I hear in the underworld that the king of all demons is actually a fish. Just imagine the absolute power it would have if you caught it for me. Caught in the caverns layer. So we're actually going to head down to the caverns layer and see if we can find this fish as well as an item called the rockfish because it is in the cavern levels as well. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, so here I am in the cavern layers, and we're going to go fish now. So let's see, hopefully we get some luck and find the fish quickly. Okay, so I found a different area because the other one wasn't working out. So, hopefully, yeah, uh, there you go. Now this one's working a bit better. So I got a fish, but what was it? I got a stink fish. Okay, so I got the demonic hellfish already. That's awesome.
Oh, I got a golden carp. This would cool question. This would probably sell well. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I've never found any of these before. Oh, I got the rockfish. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I got the rockfish, and uh, that's really cool. Okay, so I got the rockfish that I wanted. So this is going to be a little bit difficult. I'm going to put this right here. Oh, that's cool. Nice, nice. And before I die, let me, uh, let me do that. Okay, and I still want to grab this uh, peculiar fish here. So, I guess I'll just leave this copper ore. There you go. And uh, let's go. Let's go back. Uh, I have the quest fish for you. What are you going to give me? Uh, sonar. Great Aaron Monkey. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you make a great Aaron Monkey. Now, what did he give me again? Uh, okay. Sonar potion detects hooked fish. Oh, that's cool. That is actually pretty cool. Now, let's see how much this fish will sell for. If it's golden. For 10 gold, that's really cool, actually. Alright, guys. Thank you guys for watching today's episode of Terraria. It was a pretty long episode for me. It took me at least an hour, 15 minutes making this. Uh, but uh, it was pretty fun. I have as all these beautiful crates here and of course I'm going to have one of these bother me uh, but thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode I will be doing uh, fishing offhand that way I can get as many crates as I can because I believe next I'm going to be fighting Skeletron so yeah I'll see you guys then bye